everybody welcome back to another episode of infiltration so it's been a few days since I've recorded I um, want to apologize for not getting back to the comments earlier than what I did I've been really busy this past week so I'm kind of glad that I recorded a bunch of episodes ahead of time sorry about missing yesterday but today we've got a mission we're gonna go ahead and do um, and we don't really have all of our mechs back yet uh, I did decide to go ahead and get that uh, lone wolf uh, repaired we do have a crap ton of sea bills. I sold a bunch of um, the lighter mech parts that we had, trashed them all. I want to apologize, and I can't remember who it was. Some, somebody asked me to go ahead and try and make a super fast light mech for scouting and and uh, maybe use it as an overheater, but I don't know if that'll happen, but that's a possibility for one of the Timberwolves. We, now, I think we do have, if I think, we've got a Marauder 2. We have enough to make a Vulture and another Timberwolf. So that's a possibility if we run a third Lance, we could run another Timberwolf uh, and a Vulture. And maybe because the Timberwolf, it's, I know the Timberwolf's fast. I'm not sure how fast the Vulture is. I know the Timberwolf's fast. We could turn it into a scout mech. Uh, so that's a possibility for lighter missions. For heavy missions like five Scholars, uh, I don't think it's gonna really play out. I might try it, but here's the thing, you know, as a gamer, I think, well, that's a great idea. Let's go ahead and try it. But as a person, I can't think to myself who I would put in the cockpit of that mech. Now, who makes the most sense would probably be Goofy, but I don't want to risk losing a pilot this late in the game, especially since I've dialed back the amount of experience our pilots are getting every mission. Um, the lower level pilots are going up very slowly. Our high level pilots, we got good skills, but um, if I lose one of my high level pilots, that's, you know, that's a huge that's a huge drawback for me so we have to avoid that at all cost um, so that being said what I do want to go ahead and do today uh, let's have a look at the command center so you know maybe we will lay, lay out those mechs I, I'm not hundred percent sure yet but we're gonna take Pony Express today it's a four skull we don't have a lot of mechs back right now so we're gonna go ahead and negotiate this it's a uh, uh, clan wolf against clan Jade Falcon we're perfectly uh, fine with this Jade Falcons at a hundred percent in uh, rep, uh, faction rep and um, clan wolf is at 87 so you know we'll get some back with them drop it with these guys that's what we're planning on doing is going back and forth so we've got a bunch of missions I want to do here that have some good salvage this one's 625 for an ambush convoy so hopefully we can pick up some good gear now I did try to get the kaiju up and running we've got two ERPP clan ERPPCs and we've got the two uh, heavy risk PPCs and I tried putting all four of them into that mech but without more prototype double heat sinks, it's just not going to be viable. That plus I don't have any, um, I don't have any um, uh, tracker sensors, which would be necessary for that to work really well. Uh, so without that, we would have a good mech with hard hitting capability, but very low hit chance. And I don't want to waste a hundred ton mech on the battlefield if we, unless we know it's going to do at least half decent and hold its weight. So with that being said. We're going to hold off on building the Kaiju, Kaiju right now. I do want to go PPCs on it because of that PPC targeting computer. And I can actually drop in targeting computer modifications in as well. So if we can find some targeting computer mods, um, I'm going to start taking those because we're only down to three right now. There's a missile one, there's an energy one, and a tracker one, which basically avoids evasion, one, one uh, chevron of evasion. So we can use two of those and if we load in missiles we can use the third one but I want to try and get some extended long-range ones as well uh, just so that we can get four PPCs running with long-range accuracy so that's the goal but we'll wait and see how that plays out once we get some more salvage so let's do the Pony Express I'm gonna go full salvage and I want to take um, we're gonna do something a little different here so Goofy's gonna drop out um, Dallas she can stay out for now and I want to bring in, um, is this the one I think it is? This is the, yes, large heavies and the rotary. So I'm going to bring in um, Gundal to run this atlas. Uh, and then what I want to do, if you hear some whistling going on in the background, it's a windy night and my father's uh, um, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, e-bike is in the back with an alarm on it and every time it blows the bike the alarm goes off so uh, if that's if you're hearing whistling in the background that's what that is uh, okay so now I also want to bring in uh, let's move you up 
We're only going to take six mechs for this one, I think. Uh, I'm going to run a bit of a, a a different loadout. So we're going to take Vegas. Uh, let's take um, Goose. Actually, you know what? Let's run seven. We're going to take Comanche, and we're going to... So I want these all pilots to get experience. They're not going to do much, but we, I want them there. So we're going to have the Naga, the new the Naga with the AMS and the arrow system. And let's throw that on wall. And then let's throw the Night Gear AMS on Comanche. Let's drop the Archer on Duck. And let's drop the two Timberwolves. We have an LRM version and we've got the um, AC version. So let's drop, I guess it doesn't, well, let's drop the LRM version on you. And then you can take, yo, down here. You can take the AC version. And let's run this way. I know it's kind of a weird loadout, or a weird drop, but we've only got a certain number of mechs. Um, we got, I could have waited, but why wait? I mean, why wait to, for the other mechs to be back when we can actually do a mission right now with reduced mechs? Because we have to do that anyway. So let's deploy this to see how we do. I mean, we could end up with some nasty vehicles, which is why I want to take a couple of experienced pilots here, uh, as well as Duck. Um, but let's see how we do and go ahead. All right, here we go. Oh, they're coming straight at us. Okay, beautiful. This should be a grind fest. So they got two lances, probably, and defenders or something? Maybe two lances? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, so while we're getting ready here, I want to take this opportunity to talk about where Rogue Tech is headed. Um, I'm still 100% um, dedicated to Rogue Tech. Uh, I really do love this mod. I might try something different. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but for my next series that I've had planned or that I've been talking about, uh, it is going to be a Rogue Tech series. So um, I'm waiting for the new version to come out. Now 1.9 of Battletech has just dropped, which I think releases a bunch of new mechs into the game as well, which is interesting. Um, but what I want to do is wait until that is um, Rogue Tech is stable with 1.9. Now they've gone ahead and said that um, let's switch, let's leave that for now. Um, they've gone ahead and said that they're going to be working on the new version. So I guess the beta for 181, or pre-beta is not necessarily dead. I mean, I, they're obviously going to be updating it for 1.9. Uh, and I kind of knew that. But that means I'm not going to be starting my new series until 1.9 is stabilized. Now, I believe Harebrain Schemes has said that that's pretty much it for Battletech for a while. Ooh, you decided to move right into range, did you? So I don't think they're going to be de developing anything for Battletech for the next little while. Uh, you're going to back up here. Copy that, Commander. And we're going to turn this on to... Uh, now let's just leave it regular on. Now we want to use the arrow four, not the guided. Actually, what's the chance to hit with the guided on this guy? 29, not too bad, I guess. I mean, the pilot's not the best, right? We got a piloting or a, a gunnery four pilot. Uh, let's switch it to. I thought I put. I did put Inferno. I don't know how far up these guys are, but let's just drop one right in here. They got to come through there anyway. Ready for order. All right, Comanche. Are you stuck? You're stuck. You know, they always said it did take two com two Apache to kill one Comanche. That came from a movie. Don't quote me on that because I don't know that for for sure. That came from a movie. Uh, I'm gonna leave these guys off for now. So I mentioned, I, I can't, you know, that they are, they wonder why I leave the medium lasers off. Uh, if I leave them on and I overheat and the, is this AMS mech, this heat gauge is going to go right off the, the end. These are really backup lasers. If they get good chance to hit, I'll use them. But for now, there's no point. Um, let's just go with regular ammo. I like to say we soften them up, but really that's not the case. 
Yeah, they just drove through there. This is one of the guards. Yeah, so anyways, as Rogue Tech goes, uh, we're gonna get, they're going to get that up and running. Um, and I'm, just, I'm not going to be doing anything with it until it's relatively stable, until it gets out of pre-beta. They got a lot of work to do for the uh, 181 up, update, now that it's 1.9. I'm not sure. I think it's mostly bug fixes and stuff. Uh, they've had, like, I think they said they added 12 mechs or 16 mechs or something like that. A fair amount of mechs got added. Maybe I'm wrong. Look at that, man. That's just crazy. Anyway, um, what do we got back here? Looks like a, uh, it's a night gear. Okay. That's what I'm used to is the missile night gears. But I guess they were more laser, like they looked like they're made for uh, carrying missile mounts on the shoulders. Anyway, uh, yeah, so as I was saying, I'm going to wait till they uh, uh, release the, uh, a, a good stable version of, um, of 1.9 before I go ahead with the new series. I've been gathering elements and stuff for that though. Um, I still have to work on music. I'm going to do my own music for it. Um, so I have to work on some music. There's graphic elements that I've already got. Um, I'm getting stuff templated so that I can do episodes relatively quickly. Ooh, that wasn't a kill, eh? Um, so yeah, I, I want to try and... Like I know I said I was... Um, that I might not be able to do one episode a day. It might end up being one every day or a couple of days or, or sorry, one every couple of days or more than a couple of days. Um, but I want to try and template as much of it as I can before I start um, and render a bunch of stuff out. Um, so for every planet that we're on, I might do a lot of the rendering um, one night and then do all of the recording another night and then be able to release like four or five episodes or do four or five episodes so that I can do like um, a whole planet's worth in one batch and release those day by day while I'm working on the next planetary um, uh, episode basically so that's the goal is to try and make sure you guys have got content every day uh, but if that doesn't if, I mean it's never I mean I don't get a chance to do it every day oh my god every day with these guys so I'm gonna try and do it every day but like I said I can't guarantee it can't guarantee it what do we got back here hits a copolis carriers I'm not really that afraid of multi-terrain vehicle it's got low armor this is a self-propelled arty with low armor maxim so night gear is the guy we want our salvage from alright duck duck goose Let's get up here. Okay, we got more on target here. Clan LRM carrier. Thor artillery vehicle. Let's just go through here. 18%. I think we've only got arrow, right? Arrow and dead fire, right. Uh, I gotta keep remembering we had that dead fire. I forgot that one episode till later on and it would have been nicer to have remembered. See, four LRM 20s. That's the kind of mech that's the kind of thing I'd build, except for the medium and medium large pulse laser. It seems kind of incongruent with what's there. Prowler we could probably take out. The Thor we could think we could take out. Thumper artillery. Or should we go after the Hetzacopolopolis? Clan hybrid. Swarm arrows. This guy's got full armor, but not a lot of it. Let's go after the Hetzcopolopolis. I know I'm not pronouncing that right, and <laughs> I apologize, but damn. The spelling on that's insane. All right, uh, let's see what you can do. You can't actually target the Hetzcopolopolis. Can you now? Oh, you can now. All right, let's move up into here. Drop a ton of lead on this guy's ass. Okay, it's a little, little bit of softening. 
We got an arrow coming down on him in a minute anyway. We got to spread out, man. They got that arty coming down on us. We got a good job. A good job. A good chance for components out of this, which is what I want to see. Lots of good components. Most likely battle computers and stuff. All right, Beejer. Uh, you can't target that guy, huh? Let's get up here. On my way. This guy's all yours. Shred him. Oh, let's leave this off, though. Beautiful. That's not a bad loadout for a heavy mech. Especially since this thing is so fast, right? A pair of Ultra 5s. That's like four large lasers. Or four ER large lasers. A pair of MRM 10s with at five damage apiece. That's 100 damage if you hit with everything in a barrage. It's not too bad. I mean, it could be better. Oh, we got another night gear up there. Let's give him somebody to shoot for. Um, yeah, man. Chances are low this time. Prowler would be a kill. Let's just fire on the night gear. Engaging target. Okay. I feel like that was some really good damage. He started off with very low armor, though. It's bizarre. I cranked up the difficulty to max you guys saw me do that so I'm shocked to see at four skull these guys with partial armor I thought that for sure with the two support lances in the convoy they the convoys at full but everybody else is not okay this guy's all yours uh, Gundal I think he's a member of the uh, the um, convoy Thanks for showing up. Thank you for showing up. Pirate harasser. Okay. Opponent prime. So they most likely have got... Okay, it looks like they've got one full strength support unit, which is five. Five in the convoy, full strength, and then two uh, quarter strength support lances. So 20. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, not you. Dude, you need to get up here more with your AMS because that's not a good place to be. Alright, well, let's drop an inferno round back here. Let's try. That's actually a pretty good chance to hit. 24%. Heads go Palopolis. Exchange a little bit of arrow fire with that guy. LRM carrier took a half, some half decent damage. That guy's probably going to be killable next turn. Comanche. Just move over this way. Oh, we're jammed already. It's crazy. Yeah, can you drop... Uh, we have Hydra, right? Let's drop it on this guy. It's out of range. Wait. That can't be out of range. It is. The LRMs are out of range? For oh, because you don't have... Yeah. It's a targeting issue because she doesn't have um, extended range because of gunnery. Oh, let's go on. Um, where are you here? It's dropped out on the... Th well, Thor's only 12%. Where's the other guy? Right here. Not going to let me do it. Not gonna let me do it. There you go. Thor, six even worse, eh? 
Should we soften this guy up? Let's soften him up. Okay. We'll let Gundal finish him off. Okay, just step up here. Wow, really bad chance to hit, man. Oh, it's too close, that's why. Let's just wind the rack up. I'm going to Warlord this because I want this guy gone. Let's make sure we get the kill on him. And firing. Beautiful, one of the big ones hit. Rack hit, nice. Alright, they're down one convoy member now. They know what they're walking into. So alongside running the next, uh, well, I mean, it'll be a while before we get another, um, uh, before we get the good series up and running, the good series, the <laughs> the Unbound series up and running. I'm probably going to run another Seven Days to Die series as well. But that one I'm going to add some production value to. So I got to, I have to write some music for that. I got a template. Um, template the After Effects and stuff for that because the idea that I have it needs a bit of work production value to get it going so that's most likely going to take a bit of time too but if I get it templated I should be able to knock one of those off every couple of days so that should be relatively easy but I'm going to keep going with this series uh, and what I might do depending I might start another one as well like a low level one because we're kind of at the end of the reach with this one I mean we still got lots of fighting to do at, at maximum uh, difficulty but I want to see what it's like just starting off at maximum difficulty because if it if I'm capable and able to do it I most likely will do that for the next series I'll start off at maximum difficulty these guys are just lambs for the slaughter here what's this is this a mech that's a mech what is that looks like a shorty awesome to me but it's it's probably like a uh, not a Thanatos what's the other one Talos or something, maybe? I don't know. Find out here in a second. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Give it that big maximum maximum hub or maximum hover tank try. Man, with that secondary AMS off, we take a lot of hits. Don't like to be flanked, do you? You're fine. Warning. Armor low. It's not low. Griffin. Okay. And what's this guy back here? We didn't see that guy. Orion. Nice. Wait, is that full strength? I have no idea. Okay. This guy was, though. No, he wasn't. So I think he's that hybrid was a member of the um, he's a member of the uh, main unit. So the fact that he's got to go around it means the Griffin's blocking the path here. Let's fire a maneuver. Oh, you can't fire a maneuver. Oh, yes, you can. How am I thinking? Hetzalcoatlopolis has disappeared. Can't hit the Thor, eh? How come we can't hit the Thor? Well, let's see if we can take this guy out of the battle. Beautiful. Look at that. Zero gravity on this planet. Huh. Thank you. Like it very much. Samaria's up in the Leopard. Uh... A piece of vehicle just flew by the leopard. Is that from you guys? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Well, sorry about that. Hope it didn't hit you. Uh, I want to get this barrage moving. So. We got the atlas for this guy. You do? Really? Because I haven't seen anybody yet. 
I've not seen anybody yet. Shocked you have. There's a Prowler. Uh, Bandit F. That's full armor. Let's do... And I'm going to put the barrage on B. Better not shoot yourself in the goddamn foot with this. Ooh, nice hits on that guy. Well, could have been worse. We got to Griffin a little bit. I was hoping to hit this guy so I could clip the Prowler. Oh, the Prowler took some damage too. Uh, fire. Oh, you can't fire a maneuver. Let's get a little closer with Arid Extra Dry. That Hetzacopolopolis. I have no idea if he's still back here or not. So let's use our Inferno round on Yonder. Ooh, that's really bad, eh? A little better on the Prowler, so let's use it on the Prowler. Beautiful. See ya. That should have spilled over onto this guy a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it. Pirate harasser. Ready for orders. This is back up. Full speed. No target. See if we can finish wow that dropped significantly. It was 55% when I clicked on it. Now it's like nothing? Really? Really? Okay. Whatever. Whatsoever. Alright. This is what? Epona, Maxim, the bandit. Yes, come in. Oof, not enough, eh? Got that whole chevron of evasion going. It's really helping out. Pick up the pace. The dude's a sitting duck now. He's getting ready for an LRM 40 strike. Good thing I included a lot of back armor on my mechs, eh? Even though it's very rare for us now to be shot in the back. No idea if that bandit is part of the uh, convoy or not. No, he's not. He's part of the escort, looks like. Because the solid plus are the guys we want, right? Yeah. You know, I never even thought to look at these <laughs> for the longest time. People have been telling me, well, I think it was, uh, uh, excuse me, Fist of Dorn that was telling me to, to check that. And I just, I don't know. ADD, man, it's not easy. It's not an easy life. Thor, okay. Infiltrator. Did we not get the night gear? Oh, there we go. All right, uh, where's the night gear? See ya! Engaging target. Oh, he's still going. Oh, I did miss a lot, so... Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Oh, going down. Oh, I lost something, too. Oh, it looks like his arm.
I didn't outpace the EMS or the EMS the AMS did I been watching for card and I've been thinking the EMH still don't know what to think about Picard yet watch five episodes it's not bad it's grittier than the old series were I mean I think out of all of the series I, okay let's step back a bit I like if I had to pick a science fiction series that you know I would say that should continue it would be a toss-up between um, a toss-up between um, uh, we didn't get them. Uh, it would be a toss-up between Babylon 5 and uh, Firefly. I thought for the greediness of what space would be like, that would be kind of the two series that I would want to see continue along. Star Trek, with the exception of the, the, the first series, always seemed sterile to me. I think you guys know what I mean by sterile. Everything just was clean. Um, the whole... Like, everything about it was just really, really clean. You know? Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where uh, how I feel. And I think Picard... Uh, out of the uh, um, Star Trek series, Deep Space Nine, I thought was probably, I don't want to say the dirtiest, but the less sterile of them all, especially in later seasons with the war going on and stuff. I just felt that that was more what I, how I felt space should be. Now, don't get me wrong. The original series, um, let's just do this first. Let's move here. So the original, uh, or, oh shoot, I don't have multi-target. Ah, that's a bit of a problem, eh? That would be a kill on him. We got the Thor locked in. That's the Thor there. Let's drop them. I don't want to waste the amount of weaponry we have on uh, that one guy in the out circle. So yeah, uh, Deep Space Nine, I thought, did a really good job of, you know, gritting things up, especially during the wars and stuff. I really enjoyed watching some of the later series, but it was too, I don't know, I, I found it was, and I know it's a TV show, and I know you need to write stories based on humanity and stuff. And I think it was just too um, trying to solve problems of today. Both series were like that or like um, Deep Space Nine and Next Generation and even um, even Voyager was very similar oh nice two arrows of course you do let me guess they're on the left flank they're gonna drop in over here anyway um, so yeah I think Picard has done a really good job of um, coming up with a I don't want to say a better galaxy but more realistic galaxy I'm not going to spoil any episodes for people so if you haven't seen them I'm not going to ruin anything for you but I just feel that it's done a better job with that um, let's get that AMS up here And let's use a flame on. Let's not go after the night gear though. Let's go after. We, I don't know if we're going to get everybody with this. Let's go after the carrier. Yeah, we did. Beautiful. Griffin moving up to his demise. Enemy sensor lock detected. That asteroid. Anyway, this so the like I said, the Picard series is just I don't know, just feeling better um, the uh, appearance by Jerry Ryan I thought was was good as seven of nine um, I think they did a good job of bringing her character um, 
you know, more to the future, I guess, so to speak. Okay, you're going to be the kill on this guy, hopefully. Thank you. It is. Um, Picard is Picard, you know. Still the still I still as idealistic as ever, um, which I think is great. But it, it it you know, with his age in the series, you kind of see that the gap in how things are now with how they were when he was captain of the Enterprise and how things have changed. And he just he still has he's still living back there and has his ideals, whereas the galaxy has changed, and maybe he's just not you know, as up-to-date as everybody else, I guess, so to speak, in a way. Um, let's get you in the fight again here. Okay, and let's do this. And then, who do we want to take? Wow, that's a really low chance to hit. Uh, let's go after this guy. See if we can hit him. Wow, that's really low chance to hit. Still a kill though. He hit with two of them. Nice shooting, man. Tango down. Thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah, I don't know. You know, it's an okay series. I'm going to keep watching it until I get to the point where I'm just like, eh. It's feeling too much like the original for me. I stopped watching. I mean, I watch... I think I watched almost all of the ep episodes of... Um, the original series, The Next Generation. I've, I've seen all of the original series. I think I've seen all of The Next Generation. Not 100% sure on that, though. Um, let's get to a point. Is that the exterminator we can see? What is this guy? Oh, that's the night gear. Beautiful. Let's move into here. Block the road. I think I've seen all The Next Generation, but it was like, you know, back in the time when it, they were releasing them every week. So I didn't watch weekly. All right, let's fire everything on this guy. Yeah, we hit some of the guy in the background. That's fine, too. Um, so, like I said, I didn't watch religiously every week, but I did watch. Um, and the great thing about that, the next generation, is you don't necessarily have to watch them in order. You just watch whenever. So if you miss a week, you don't feel like you've lost anything. Which in a way can be good, but for me it's it's not really the kind of TV I like to watch. That's why I like things like Babylon 5 and you know, because it's like it rewarded you for following like every week, right? Cause yeah, they had they did have their standalone episodes, but then they had the big, you know, the big overall arc of everything going on as well. Let's do this. Let's do this. And let's get rid of these missiles, hopefully. Oh! We killed the exterminator! <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't want to kill the night gear, I want to kill the exterminator instead. Yes, this guy's like, he sees the lasers coming and he ducks. And his buddy behind him gets smoked. He's like, whoops, sorry about that, man. I didn't think he was going to hit you. What the hell? In that situation, though, it's not really his fault. It's like, it's your first instinct is to duck out of the way of harm, of course. That's what he did. Unfortunately, his friend got killed because of it, but whatever. Not my concern. Anyway, I like I like Babylon 5, especially the later later seasons. And then they did a, they did a uh, um, series after that. It only lasted, I think, eight or nine episodes. Um, and that was... I want to call it Excalibur, but it wasn't Excalibur. It was... Oh, uh, man. You think I you think I remember. Oh, I didn't really like that series that much anyway. It was based around a larger ship. I can't remember what it was called, though. Anyway. I like Babylon 5 because of the physics. They did realistic physics for the spaceships and stuff, so... It's kind of nice. So, if, for instance, if you want to turn... You need thrusters on multiple angles of the of the ship to be able to turn the damn thing. That's the prowler. What? You, let's just kill this guy. 
Not surviving that. Enemy unit destroyed. So the, the, the Night Furies, I think, probably for me, out of all the spaceships that I've seen um, in series, I have to say the Night Furies are probably one of my most favorite. I don't know what what else would, would rank up there with them. Wow, that's really bad chances to hit. We don't have anybody else, so... Alright, you hit a bit. That's not bad. We'll take it. But yeah, the, the Night Furies, it's basically a single, single piloted aircraft. Um, and it's kind of like an X design. Not like an X wing with the nose that sticks out. It's an X design and on each of the ends of the wings of the X you've got various thrusters so you could turn and spin and do whatever you need to do. Right? With the thrusters. So if you wanted to turn and shoot at a guy behind you, you just spin the thing around and fire at the guy behind you. Right? You got the four you got the multiple thrusters. You can fly backwards at full speed. Beautiful, nice. So you can fly, you can fly backwards at full speed. You can go sideways. Doesn't matter because you've got thrusters on all sides of the, the spacecraft, right? Um, you can pretty much go like fly in any direction. That's the thing I loved about it, right? And um, the firepower wasn't so bad, but the maneuverability is really what was the uh, the shining point of that thing. This guy's got stealth, that's why he's so hard to hit. Let's see if we can take him out of the battle. He's too close for uh, for uh, my liking. Reporting critical hit. Thank you. Let's get forward so we can use those missiles on other people. We got guys on our flank here. I'm not liking that. Maybe the reinforcements came from the right. Looks like we got a mech down here. Which is better for us because that puts us up high. We got two down here. Hellbringer. Mirix, okay. What's this guy? Black Lantern? Sorry, laser fodder. Anyway, that was the thing I liked about uh, uh, the Night Furies. Even the um, Damage is minor. even the the Earth Force, like the Earth Defense Force ships, the center the center portion of them rotated to um, simulate gravity because they didn't have artificial gravity, right? So that was kind of cool. Ooh, time for some dead fire. Then of course Firefly is just Firefly. It's just awesome. Hammer him. Dodge this. Yeah, I didn't think so. There goes the ECM there. I don't know if you guys saw the movie Serenity, but that was kind of the end of Firefly. They did 10 episodes of Firefly, and then it got canceled. It was just aired at the wrong time. And it was up against shows that it just couldn't compete with at the time. I can't remember what they were. I think I would be able to do, remember what the hell they were, but no, I can't remember what they were. Why? Because I'm old. Uh, anyway, uh, it was just against shows that couldn't, they couldn't compete with at the time. Uh, but the fan base just loved it. Um, so yeah, so they did the movie Serenity, or Joss Whedon did the movie Serenity just as a, uh, you know, sorry we couldn't end the series, here's kind of the ending of the series. And the whole idea behind that it was, it was like that, that show, that movie, Serenity, it kind of was relatively well-rounded, but they were trying to end too many character arcs at once, I think, in that show. Which they kind of had to because it was kind of like the end of the series. Um, oh yeah, the other show that I really love, I, I don't know why I didn't think of it when we were talking about science, or while I was talking about science fiction. Um, and I used to, we used to watch this uh, um, every week with, with my wife, uh, Farscape. I don't know if you guys have seen Farscape, fantastic show, fantastic. Every season got better and better and better and better and better. And all I have to, if you've seen it, you know who I'm talking about? Harvey, I have to say, was like the best character of the entire show. You know, John was good. You know, you know, each character, like, they just played off each other 
so well. They had their they had so many differences, yet they were all bound together, and it was great. And Harvey, I have to say, was probably my favorite character out of the whole show. Anyway, if you don't know who Harvey is, I I just urge you to go watch the series because I don't want to ruin it for you. He comes into play later on. I think it was like season three or four or something. But just brilliant. How they implemented him into the show was just brilliant. Okay, let's get some firepower. Who do we have over here? These guys are attempting... Not really attempting to flank us, but... They're over here trying to flank a little bit. Let's uh, give it to this guy. You ain't making nothing if you don't hit. Dude. Oh, you know what it is? We took out the... Um, I don't think we have a... Uh, oh, we do have sensors tracker in here. I thought I took them out. I guess I didn't. I wonder why we're not hitting. How much evasion does this thing have? I don't know. Probably a lot. Anyway, we're not leaving. We're taking everybody out. Orion. This, that's two Orions. Psy Beach down here. Anyway, yeah, I've, I've, I've watched a ton. A ton of science fiction. Seen all the Star Trek movies. I can't say which one's my favorite. I don't, I don't think I really have one. They're all, they're all kind of like... I mean, Wrath of Khan was good. Um, they've all kind of got a, a life of their own. You know, I don't think I could say which one was best. Uh, the new Star Trek series, though. Um, well, sorry, I didn't really like... I didn't really like... Um, what was it called now? One was Scott... Uh, Scott Bakula? It's Scott Bakula, right? The guy who was the uh, the, the captain. With the ship with hull plating, like armor plating rather than uh, um, shields. The hell was it called now? It was, it was... Was it just called Enterprise? I think it was just called Enterprise. God, we're just shredding these guys. Um, didn't really like that one. As soon as, as soon as you have to use time travel to make things interesting, I just, it just bothers the hell out of me. Yes, time travel can be paradoxical and it can change things and, you know, it can change the feel of a movie and be different and this and that and the other thing. But at the same time, for me, it's a, it's the writer's way out. It's the, you know, I don't really feel like coming up with anything new, so I'm just going to use time travel and that'll be that and, you know, just let that play out. And that really bugs me. Wow, that was terrible. Dude. That didn't hit. Yeah, no, I know. I'm shocked. Standing by. Um, you don't have multi-target, so... And uh, do I want to expose... For a back shot, I kind of do want to expose you, so let's go Phantom Mech. Start off here. Location confirmed. And let's hammer this guy from behind. Beautiful. Vehicle down. The uh, the newest Star Trek though. Um, don't know how I feel about that. I'm kind of like up in the air. I could like it. I could hate it. You know, it's like, I don't know. I thought the uh, the teleporting ship was a bit weird. I love going to the different dimension. I think that's a better way of handling things than doing. Um, time travel uh, if you want to handle different timelines or you know change things around alternate dimensions I think is a better way to do it yeah 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 run you bastard uh, 
uh, get some AMS down here maybe. Oh, we don't need to be that close. That's fine. Let's get over here. I want this guy, I think. Oh yeah. And I shall have you. Beautiful, the lance gone. Attrition is not favoring them, that's for sure. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think it, I, the writing was good in the new Star Trek series. I think the writing was really good, actually. Um, I thought the characters were really well interest, like really well written. They were all interesting. Um, you know, I stopped watching after season one. But, you know, definitely interesting, definitely worth um, worth watching. Night gear. Night gear. Night gear. See you. Enemy mech destroyed. You got that right. At the cost of no heat to myself. This mech is so cool. Like cool as in like running cool and cool as in cool cool. <laughs> I don't know. Have you guys got any favorite uh, sci-fi shows? Drop them in the comments below. I've seen most of them. I tried watching. Um, I tried watching the new Lost in Space. I thought the concept was good. I thought the characters were excellent. I just wasn't really that big on the storyline. It was okay, I guess, but I had to really like the storyline to be able to 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 hang on to a show, you know? Because my time is so limited now that it's like I, I really want to be, you know, 100% engaged in something when I watch it. The fact that I'm watching Picard now, it's like watching one episode every week. To me, that's plenty. It reminds me of the old days, right? Being able to want, watch one episode a week, which was great. Or one every, you know, couple of days or something. So. I mean, let's face it, I do have to sleep sometime. Even though I don't sleep a whole lot, I still have to sleep. On my way. We got a multi-target going on here. You need to finish up what you started. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we didn't even hit the opponent yet. Didn't we shoot this guy last time? Oh, we shot at his buddy. Yeah, yeah. Nova Cat. We think we should target this guy, though. Well, we got the height advantage now. Come on, why doesn't that work? Nova Cat. Leg. Hot dog. Not enough though. You're not no infiltrator, that's what I gotta say. That's all I gotta say, man. How much did you do? Oh, you almost got it though. I take it back. Good shot. Good shooting, Tex. These guys are just like... I don't know what they're doing. Well, this looks like a marauder to me. Yep. Yep. We gotta get infiltrator up here on the firing line. Clean up some of these guys over here. These Orions are in bad position. I don't think there's anybody left over here, is there? Why don't you find out for me? Oh, you can't. Double time. Let's go. Let's shoot this guy from the uh, eighty-five percent. Not gonna let me do it, are you? There you are. Let's see if we can get that leg. Yep. 
Got the mech too. That's a kill. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but whatever. Not gonna argue. Not gonna argue today. What do you think? Got think it. we can get this guy today? Finish him up. Roger that. that should do it. Yeah. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Couldn't imagine being in that thing and being hit by all those missiles. Ooh, back shot on somebody. Yeah, we might as well use this. Just thinking salvage-wise what I want to do here. Let's just get this mission done. Let's just get it mission done. Let's get you out of here. Yeah, I want to stay and fight. That's what happens. Yeah, I'm, kind of, I'm trying to think now other science fiction TV shows. I used to watch the old Lost in Space. I don't remember too, too much about that. Oh, it was not. Look, he wants to shoot you, you shoot back at him. Show him what a hit really looks like. There you go. You want to trade shots? Trade shots with that. There you go. That's how it's done, folks. Alright, let's get you into here. Let's get your barrage up and running. Try and, in the background, trying to think of other shows that I've watched. Do you want to try and shut them down, or do you want to just... Let's just try and shut him down. Screw it. Well, even if we didn't shut him down, we sure uh, what are your orders, sure heated his ass up a lot. Let's get that AMS up here. Might as well target that lanner. Not a bad chance to hit. Wow. So I think it's a direct fire, if I'm not mistaken. Like it doesn't explode and do HE damage. The guided missiles. That's interesting. So if you don't have a good chance to hit, it's kind of a waste, it looks like. Huh. Good to know. Well, if we had a better pilot, it might make a huge difference too. Plus, I don't think he's got... Um, oh, the direct line of sight might be better, too. Don't know if he's got tracker sensors. Oh, you're going to fire it even though you're standing in heat, eh? Or was that the Marauder? Ready for orders. You can't... Uh, that's fine. Do-do-do-do-do. trying to think of the old, like older um, series... Like, this is overpower. I gotta stop using those. Tango down. It just feels like cheating to me. Yeah, Lost in Space. I'm trying to think of like old TV series that I used to watch that were space-based, but other than the original Star Trek, Doctor Who, which I watched, like, religiously for the longest time. I haven't watched any of the new episodes. like the newer episodes. I watched up until um, I think it was two doctors after Tom Baker. Tom Baker for me is the doctor. Like he is Doctor Who. I don't think there's a another um, well David Tennant I thought did really well too but still Tom Baker had that perfect kind of Doctor Who-ish demeanor to me. I don't think there was a better Doctor Who um, can't choose the head. We can choose the leg, though. Let's see if we can leg this guy. Engaging target. Yep. Goes his whole side, though. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Looks like it was his whole side. A little too much damage 
to do just the leg though up, with this mech. There's another vehicle over here. Can you take care of him for me? A little too close, but whatever. Wow, okay. God, that's got to be terrifying. Enemy I couldn't imagine being in a vehicle like that and getting hit by 70 missiles. Well, yeah, we're not going to get a direct line of sight. Well, it looks like it's you. Nope. We're not doing any splash damage. Ah, oh, well. Whatever. Yeah, let me think now. Tom Baker, I thought was the best doctor. David, like I said, David Tennant was good, but then, like, I didn't watch a lot of the newer seasons, so there could be better doctors. Like, the new doctor could be could be much better. I can't remember what her name is, the actress. She could be better. I don't know. Yes, I think, uh, you know, for me, there was the, the whole discussion about whether the doctor could be female, and I'm like, why not? It's science fiction. Fiction. Could be anybody for all I care. Could have been a Muppet for all I care. <laughs> Wait, what was that show? There was a show. Was it Buffy the Vampire Slayer? I, I watched about all of the episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I watched Angel. Um... There was a show where everybody turned into Muppets. They were all, the whole show, they were all Muppets. I can't remember. I just had a flash remembrance of that now. Maybe it, I don't, maybe it was, was it Buffy? I hit him with a, a couple and he's dead. Like, fucking ridiculous. That's just cheating. That's just cheat ammo, I find. There's two left. Who else is left? Probably another vehicle somewhere? I copy. Oh, no, the Marauder. Right, the Marauder fell over. That's right. Um, what? Ah, man, I wish I could remember what it was now. I just had this recollection of an of an episode where every was it might have been Angel where they were all Muppets. Something happened. They were all Muppets. Anyway, look, that was pretty. Like I said, the Doctor Who Doctor could be anybody. It doesn't matter, right? It's about it's about the personality and the character. Really, that's really what the Doctor is, right? To me, it's like, you know, this awesome personality. Um. Uh, I don't think you need to move. Let's give this Orion something. Engaging target. Oh, he's full strength too. Okay. I'm here. If I kill this guy with the Hydra ammo, I'd be so disappointed. All right, uh, direct line of sight on the Orion. We're going to pull the Marauder's legs off with, uh, with Infiltrator. So we're just going to soften this guy up. All right, wall. Don't even bother moving. Uh, let's not hit the Marauder. Yeah, I don't know. Hit him. He ain't never gonna stand still. You gotta hit him, dude. Uh, this might be a little overkill. Let's go this route, maybe? Oh, of course. Then you hit the torso and not the leg. God damn it.
Let's see if this guy dies. No, but we hadn't penetrated him yet, so... What do you think? Can you pull this guy's leg off? Please and thank you. 25 left. There we go. Got him. See if we can get some PPCs off of him. I'm just not going to move because uh, I want the Orion to shoot for him. Now nah, he's overheating anyway. Shred him. Engaging with target. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, for me, I don't under. I mean, I understand the fandom sometimes, where they want to keep things as close to the original as possible. But I'm also a person that says, look, it's science fiction. It's not real. Let's get a different take on the story and see what we can get out of it. Like. You know, who knows? It may be it may be better than the original. You never know. I mean, there's no guarantee it will be, but it might be. And if you don't give it a chance, you're never going to know. And if it's worse, then you say, okay, yeah, it's worse, but it doesn't mean you don't try it. I just think that's kind of silly. You know, it says it right in the name, fiction. It can be anything. Same as superheroes. You know? If you want to change your superheroes around, go ahead and do it. I don't care. I don't care what race and sex they are. It doesn't matter to me. Is the story good? Beautiful. Mission successful. Yeah, 116. So like I said, is the story good? Are the characters believable? and fun to watch. If you've got a good story and good characters, you can throw them into any environment and have a great show. You know, that's kind of the way I feel about it. So when I hear people being upset about, you know, oh, they changed the doctor's sex, or they changed this and they changed that, oh, what the hell difference does it make? What difference does it make? Like, honestly, whether you're hearing the line being delivered by a woman or a man, it's the strength of the line that matters. It has nothing to do with the person saying it, right? The argument and the delivery rest and fall on its own merits. And if it's, if it's, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. I'm not going to argue too much about it, I guess. I mean, I guess we could, you could sit and argue both sides of the story, but the way I see it, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Suspicious cargo. Maybe we should put that in a light mech. <laughs> we'll just hire a new pilot every episode and send in some suspicious cargo. <laughs> uh, okay, that's just too much. Um, I could go with this and this. We have missile, we've got tracking, and we've got energy already for the PPC bolt. But let's go down first. Chameleon would be nice. I'm just taking this for sea bills right now. Uh, we need, we don't have any clan, oh, we got one. Sorry, but we won't have one because this is going to be going into the Kaiju. Right now it's got regular endo steel, but we need the space. So this will be going in the Kaiju, so we won't have one. Hopefully we can get it in the Orion 2CA, but we'll have to see. Clan XL engines were out. Oh, we've got one. Oh, oh, that's right, and I put one in the Kaiju, so we have one extra, so that's nice. Standard... We're, f we're running out of like cockpits and everything now. Starting to get low on a lot of stuff. Like I don't even have clan double heatsink kits. <laughs> like I don't, I just don't have them. I got plenty of heatsinks. I got like what, 40 or something? Yeah, 40 heatsinks. I just got no heatsink kits. Um, and I ha it's not like I've been selling them. I've been keeping them. So we got royal heatsink kits, but this requires inner sphere double heatsinks, which we don't have because I sold those off. Okay, there's that. Need that. We need AMS ammo as well. I don't know if I want to do that. Typical arrow ammo. We've got nine, so I don't have to worry about that. Inferno. That's a possibility. I'm going to drop it in for now. Now, ATM ammo. We've got four. 
and regular ammo we've got five so we're okay there because i was thinking about maybe putting an atm on the uh kaiju as well as a backup weapon but i'm not 100 percent sure yet that's what's going to happen got lots of that um uh, thumper ammo we've got a bunch of right yeah we got that sawed off thumper that we can use okay so we don't need any more ammo i think this is fine so maybe we go back up and look at components now we could take the arrows like the the launchers but i don't think we we've got three launchers right now i don't think we need any more at the moment i think we're doing okay in that regard defensive gyro that's kind of nice defense against being hit let's drop that in as a possible well where are we going to use it in most of our mechs are clan mechs i mean we could use it in one of the atlases but i would prefer having the uh extra light gyro yeah i don't know i mean we could take more mech parts to get more seabills but we don't really need it right now for outfitting our guys ap gauss rifles uh, we could take AMS ammo, I guess. Regular, we have two of these already, so we don't need any more of those. It says zero, but we have two damage clan ERPPCs, which is why it's saying zero. Um, laser AMS clan, that's a good, because we're out of these, and we have a bunch of mechs without AMS right now. We're going to drop it in, just in case. Uh, we've already got LRMs. Uh, what else do we have down here? I'm thinking that suspicious cargo is looking good. Looking very suspicious. So maybe we'll take one of these, extreme and long range. And we could put those on the Kaiju. And go, and maybe we just go all PPC on it, like four PPCs. The two risk, the two regular ER PPCs, extreme, long range, and sensor trackers. That'll give us plus four to hit extreme and plus, sorry, plus six to hit at extreme and plus four at long range. We just stand back and shoot at people. Because then we would have enough heat sinks for that. If we didn't have any additional weapons, laser AMS would be needed for sure on that mech. All right, it's not the best selection, but we do have a bunch of stuff that we can use. And that we Although the chameleon would be nice too. Uh, with a Nova CEWS. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Cool clan cooling pods. Minus 20 heat per turn. Yeah. No, I think we're good here. I think we'll take what we have. All right, Griffin, Hellbringer part, Nike gear part, nice. ER large laser, good. We were down to one, now we've got two. Uh, wow, that's a lot of LRM 20s. We can sell a bunch of those. Medium heavy lasers, we don't have any of them because I've been selling all my short range lasers, so. Thumper artillery, we've got a couple of these now, don't we? Yeah. Okay, another cockpit. Oh, we got the cooling pods. Some engines too that we can sell. Regular heat sinks we can sell. Clan double heat sinks, remote dispenser. ATM ammo. Uh, okay, all right, we did okay, I guess. Okay, 430,000 in damages. So a little more than what we got paid, but we made some good salvage, so that's good. Be able to pay that off. Now let's bring that Orion forward. Uh, it is the 2C. Let's have a look. Um, so ours is what? It's the... Is it... It's just the M. Let's bring... Uh, let's go ahead and have a look here. Where are we at here? Orion, here we go. 2CA. And not much different, I think, in loadouts. Do we, need, we get enough for a Hellbringer? We did not. All right, let's bring this forward. Most likely it's going to be a sellable mech. Find out what it's got in its internals. Hopefully it's got an XL engine. That would be nice. We could just sell it off. So let's have a look here. Refit. Looks like a lot of stuff has been destroyed. Could be wrong, though. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much toast. The whole center torso is gone. 15 ER large. That's nice. Um, 
couple of tons of ammo. No real cockpit left. Clan double heat sink. SRM ammo. Eh. Could be better, but it could be worse. So let's just go ahead and sell this guy. Make some C bills for repairs. This should give us a mill, I think. 1.2 or something like that. We scrap it. 1.5, beautiful. Alright, so between episodes, I am going to get this Kaiju organized. And most likely, when we come back, it'll be the next month. I want to get most of these guys back. We've got a bunch of tougher missions to get into. Um, clan on clan missions. We've got some other ones down here we could do too. Uh, Recom quest against pirates. This is against clan wolf with really good salvage. Um, escort mission, leaving a mark. Um, pirate base. Like there's tons of good stuff we could take here. And then of course the back and forth be between Jade Falcon and Wolf which we can pick up some good gear in. So yeah. I'm going to get stuff repaired. We got a lot of sea bills. I'll get that Kaiju outfitted. And maybe next episode we get that into battle. I'll put it up the top of the uh, priority list to get it up and running. And we'll see how that works out. Um, I'm interested to see how a 4, PP, 4 PPC build will work on that Kaiju. I think it might be a little underpowered though. But I could be wrong. We'll see. Alright. So I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like. If you haven't subscribed. Please feel free to subscribe. Also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time. We'll see you all later.